what inspires me to create art, to to almost have this drive that I need to create something. Uh, I have been told that I have a, a connection with beauty. And for me, beauty is an idea, an energy, and it's something that is real, like a brick. Uh, and that I have this connection with it, I, it just kind of fills me that um, I want to express that beauty. Uh, one of the things with art, and especially young artists, it might be kind of angry art, not really beautiful, but we need to push that envelope of what is art. And for me, I think it's great we have those people, but for me, uh, I think I have an eye for beauty. What uh, that beauty, mm, here I'm having a hard time expressing myself, um, it, maybe it's also just a sense that I want to sh share that beauty, my idea of what it is, and in something maybe it's just as trite so that people like me. I used to be in sales, and one of the things in sales is that it's not what you're selling, you're selling yourself. You want people as a salesman to like you. Okay. And maybe that's the thing with my art. I want people to like my art and they will like me in return. One of the things with the project is uh, especially like the little kids that come because they don't have any real training in art or any, any of that. Uh, I've been told you have happy fish. The fish in the, in the aquarium are happy. And I think that is kind of reflects who I am as a person, that I'm very positive, very happy, and I want to, I guess, share that or portray that, but it is something that uh, is inside me that I want to share with you. How do you see beauty in, how would you see the beauty in your paintings versus? Well, the beauty in the paintings, uh, I think is uh, for for me is that kind of uh, energy. I try to portray, and I and I get a lot of response that uh, that the piece has a lot of energy, and that it's uh, the the flow and the rhythm has a certain um, pleasing quality. Uh, uh, I had done an early piece, and uh, I had uh, I don't even remember what the I had called it, named it, but the woman that bought the piece uh, put it over her bed and it's reflected in the mirror so that every morning when she got up she saw it as hope. You know, how do you paint hope? I mean, how do you portray that? I can, you can paint a, a field of red poppies, you know, and it might give you that same feeling of tranquility, but it's an image. Whereas with an abstract, it's, it was just line and color. Uh, and that's one of the things that with some of my abstracts I like to get down to that line and color. Not really anything else, no imagery. Though I do like to do figurative pieces and portraits and, and those types of things, but uh, the abstracts, I, I like them because the viewer brings something to the abstract. They bring, they see something that I might never have intended and they become part of it. Uh, of the piece. Instead of telling them the whole story, they're telling me the story that they see. Uh, so I really enjoy that. They always thought the viewer brings something to the, to the paintings.